everybody, um, here's a quick video about bed leveling. Um, this is a huge topic, especially for people who are new to 3D printing, because it's it's the threshold for a failed print versus a successful print. If you can't get your bed level and you can't get that first layer to, to go, then um, you're going to be super frustrated. So, uh, for those who don't know what this is, this is a Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer. Um, it is a white label of the Malian M200, and I'll be using this printer for the demo today. Now, uh, this is a very common kind of bed setup, where we've got a uh, spring and screws in the corners. And uh, so, if you have a RepRap printer, uh, um, a Wanhao duplicator, um, any of the other common printers with four corner bed leveling, this tutorial is gonna be 100% accurate for you as well. So, um, Let's get started. Okay, first thing I like to do um, is I actually like to preheat the nozzle. And the reason is twofold. First of all, if there's hard plastic at the tip of your nozzle and you're trying to use that to determine your bed height, that hardened plastic is going to be offsetting your bed height. So you might think you got it perfect. Maybe you use the paper method or the business card method or the, uh, you know, the index card method and you did everything right and you go to print and your first layer is peeling, it's not sticking to the bed, well having plastic on that nozzle um, can really throw you off. So we're gonna go ahead, um, the last material I printed was PLA, so I'm just gonna preheat mine to 200. Um, and the other reason that I want to preheat this nozzle is that in some cases you could actually have a little bit of expansion um, in the nozzle and so I, the way that I look at it is that if we've got the nozzle in exactly the same condition as it's going to be when your print actually starts, we're going to have the greatest chance of having a really successful bed leveling and, um, and thus really successful prints. Okay, we're ready to rumble. So, we're at temperature. I've cleaned off the tip of the nozzle so there's no plastic on the nozzle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just home the bed. And I apologize, I don't have a stand right now, so I am freehanding this video, so I apologize if it's a little bit shaky. Typically, I've got a stand for this. Okay, so we're in our home corner, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to manually slide this over. Now, depending on your printer, if you're not using this printer, you may have to go into the settings and tell it to disable the stepper motors in order for you to be able to manually move it. On this printer, as soon as it's done doing that home, it turns off the stepper motors and you can move the carriage freely. Okay, so what I've done is I actually had to retract a little bit of my filament because since I'm at temperature, a little bit of plastic was oozing out of the tip and it was obscuring this next part, which is I have tightened down that corner until I've gotten a little bit of an air gap between the nozzle and the blue painter's tape. And now I'm going to allow the bed to raise back up until I just see it touch the nozzle. Just see it touch. I'm going to check. Yep. Just touching. The blue painter's tape is just touching the nozzle. And that's what I want. And now I'm just going to repeat this process for all four corners. So we're going to go over here. Now by the way, um, if you've done reading and you've done researching, the bed leveling technique that um, is probably the most commonly demonstrated is using that piece of paper or that thin card but I find that more often than not that causes a problem for people um, or it's difficult to describe what kind of tension or, or pressure there should be between the nozzle and the piece of paper this is very easy you simply create an air gap or create a gap you can see light through and then you back the bed up into the nozzle until it just touches and if you do that you can use straight blue painter's tape. Um, in fact, blue painter's tape, 3M, and it is, I believe, if I can find it here, 2090. There you go. 2090 is the model of blue painter's tape. Um, with no glue, no hairspray, uh, and you'll get PLA and PTG prints that are perfectly flat every time. You can even use it for some smaller ABS prints, and um, with no brim, you'll get good adhesion. And then if you're printing a larger piece or a tricky piece with 
long thin portions, um, you throw a brim on there and, and you'll be good. So I like this method because it's pretty concrete what you have to do and it's probably one of the lowest hassle uh, methods in that you don't have to constantly be worrying about the glue level on your bed. You don't have to be worrying about um, spraying um, hairspray on and I those are completely valid methods and for the people who are using those and they work you know you don't need to change anything if you've got a method that works use it but if you know you're new to 3d printing and you are you're learning about this stuff um, go ahead and 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 start learning this method as a, as a starting point because um, it'll probably save you a little bit of hassle and it'll work that's the most important part okay so we can see that air gap we're just gonna back our bed up until it just touches the nozzle. Back it up a little bit more. All right, very close. And you can apply a little gentle pressure to the X gantry to kind of see how close you are. There we go. We are right on the bed. All right, and we'll do our last corner. And you know what, we're already good. We're right, right on the tape. I think I could back it up maybe a quarter turn. And I probably wouldn't even have to do that. There we go, that's all we need. We're good to go. Okay. So let's take a look at this first layer. Let's do a print here and let's see what this actually looks like. I just finished homing it. Um, now I recommend that for this method where we're not going to use any, any, any glues, any hairsprays, that you do use a heated bed at about 50 degrees and you at least periodically wipe down your blue tape with alcohol or acetone to keep oils off of it that are going to prevent, um, prevent successful things from happening. Okay, hit our temps, and we're ready to see how this first layer goes down. Um, again, I always recommend that you enable skirt in your slicer because it gives the nozzle an opportunity to replace the plastic that maybe has oozed out during the heat up portion, and uh, just gets the nozzle fully primed and ready to print nice layers. And we can see that those those beads are going down perfect, right next to each other, no gap between them, a little bit of overlap. Uh, this is going to be a great first layer. And you can see that those lines are continuing to go down at perfect spacing. No gaps between them. Nice interlayer bonding. And this part will definitely not be warping um, by the end of the print. It's going to be on there solid. What I typically use for releasing is I get these cheap snap blade knives because they're super thin and flexible. You can bend them down on the bed, slide them underneath your part, and then apply a little bit of torsion to pop them off. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect first layer. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. Uh, please put comments down below if you've got questions or clarifications. Um, I'm always open to um, bed leveling techniques, but again, um, I've been doing this for years. Um, I've leveled beds a million different ways. I've used a million different kinds of bed adhesives. And if you're a beginner starting out and you're having trouble, 
um, or you're just looking for a method that's pretty low maintenance and doesn't require a lot of of, uh, of preparation, um, I would highly recommend giving this a method a try, both for leveling the bed in terms of that uh, that nozzle just touching the bed surface, and in terms of the bed prep, just using the blue tape, wipe down with acetone or alcohol, no adhesives necessary, um, and a little bit of a heated bed.